This is Chad and Dalton from Coyote Classics here in Green, Iowa, and today we're checking out everybody's favorite car, a 1970 Chevelle. <laughs> this 70 Chevelle is painted in a beautiful gold, um, and you'll see that throughout the car. They kind of tied it in with the interior under the hood, um, really dial it up with that gold. Also has white stripes and a white vinyl top. I mean, this thing is just super classy looking. Sounds just as good as it looks. I was gonna say, sounds kinda like a big block, right? Um, they started with a 95,000 original mile car. You can tell that with the interior as far as the dash and bezels and stuff all go, which we'll get to in a little bit. But my favorite part is what they did under the hood. Check that out. Yeah, that's sharp. Like I said, they tied that gold you know, throughout the car. It's like a jewelry box. Bottom of the hood, inner fenders, everything's painted as nice as the rest of the car. Just a beautiful car. Yeah. Chrome pulleys, chromed out uh, brake booster. Shroud's all chrome. Nice car. As we go around this 70 Chevelle, um, it's got the SS badges on it, cowl hood. Front bumper's all been re-chromed. Headlight eyebrows have all been redone as well. Not much on this thing hasn't been touched. You know, they started with a very solid car. Again, I think it's probably a 95,000 original mile car. Um, as you look up and down the sides, nice and clean. Looks like we do have just a few little scratches here that I don't know if they'll buff out or not, but just a few little minor scratches right here in the very front fender. I like those uh, tires, the Goodyear Eagle, the NASCAR. Distance. That's great looking. Back of the hood lines up nice. A couple little tiny paint chips right along here on the very edge that have been touched up. So I mean the paint job's a little older but it still looks super sharp. Um, again, a nice local car show quality cruise night car is what this one is. And the best of all, it's a 1970. We just don't get a chance to buy many 70 Malibus anymore. Now I mean everyone's got them, holding on to them. I don't blame them. A um, few little paint chips right along the back of the door. Other than that, the the door gap's great in the back here. Original door handle still. Vinyl tops, nice and soft. Uh, back uh, window area is perfect. As we look here at the back shelf, the back chrome, the back glass is all in great shape. Just the vinyl top throughout is really nice. I was like a white vinyl top. Yeah. It just looks really clean. You're right. I think you mentioned before I heard you say classy, and that's exactly what this little gold 70 Chevelle is. Very classy. Uh, back bumper, obviously the iconic 1970 with the square tail lights, the SS pad back here, beautiful sounding and looking dual exhaust, nice tips. Back of the door lines up great, really solid all the way to the front fender. As we open up the the uh, passenger side door here, I really like what they did with the interior. Like I said, the whole theme went all together. It's got the factory, uh, the gold dash. And with that interior, I know it's going to be a love-hate for some people, but I really like it. You know, it's just kind of neat how it's got the 70 Chevelle embroidered on the headrest. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's a, the guy built this to be a, it's an older show car. That's how I'd classify it. Older restoration show car. Show car. Dome light works good. Still could be the original headliner. Back seat's in good shape. Carpet's been replaced as well. Um, as far as the dash goes, looks like it's all original. Still automatic on the column. Original bezels. Corners of the door looks nice and solid as well. Door panels are excellent. Um, when they did the restoration, they put all new felts and rubbers. Trunk lids lined up nice. As we look up and down the sides, driver's side, um, nice and straight as well. Tires, 
Got great tread on them. If you go to our website, coyoteclassics.com, if you get on there, you'll see about 20 photographs of the undercarriage, so you can see exactly how the, this full frame car is as far as rust goes. Um, you'll see all the floor pans. We take up close pictures of every part of this undercarriage. Really solid Chevelle. Yeah, very good car. A uh, couple of little tiny chips and touch-ups right along the edge of the door. Very common. Back of the door lines up nice into the rocker and the quarter panel. Front fender is in good shape as well. Our gap here in the very top could be adjusted out. It's a little wide on the top. Again, just like it like you like to see here, no uh, body filler repair at all in the corners of the doors. And they did a nice job in the door jam paint too. You can tell when they painted it, they put just as much effort into painting those door jams as they did the rest of the car. Yeah, and, and a lot of people don't, I don't know why, but probably because it takes more time, costs more money, right? Uh, door panels have been redone, they're in great shape. Grant, uh, steering wheel, which looks nice, fits nice. 95,307 miles on the odometer. Pioneer CD player. Windows on my side go up and down really good. How about you, D? Yeah, mine as well. Starts really easy. You know, hit the key and go. Um, gas gauge works, radio works. And as we said, this is about like the same kind of car as that 74Z we just did. I mean, just a, a turnkey, really cool car. Crap works and a lot of fun. Yeah, you can tell both those cars, and a lot of our cars, you can tell the previous owners really took care of them and their, their pride and joy. Exactly. Heater works, wipers work, horn. You know, we do go through these things, dome light works. We go through these things the best we can, but at the end of the day, they're still old cars. I mean, we fix tons of stuff when they come in, if they need it. Um, check them in, check them out, sold tickets. Um, let's try to get them ready to be great drivers. Oh, I want to mention a couple other things that we did do. Um, we put some new uh, control arm bushings up front. Um, they were getting bad. The other thing we did is uh, rear, upper, and lower lower bushings and sway bars, all that stuff's new out there. So Good. we went ahead and spent quite a bit of money back there. Angel's wheel of tire. Normal 350. This thing hauls ass. Look at that. Uh, it sounds great too. No hands on the wheel that whole freaking time. Here's our brakes. Stop excellent. It's a great car. Yeah, it is. I don't know if you noticed, but even though we were squealing out, no hands on the wheel all the way to stop. Really? Yeah. And you just straightened out? Yeah, and you missed it. You missed the photo opportunity. I know, I missed it. I missed the good shot. I had my hands like this the whole time. <laughs> I need to go back to training. <laughs> so it idles. Idles really good. I mentioned the gas gauge works. Well, I know what else there is to talk about on this thing. The interior's nice, comfortable, a lot of room. Oh, we could end the drive right there. That's all I need to see. Tire squealing, good acceleration. Great shift, huh? Yeah, nice. Yeah, just dialed in. That's how I describe the mechanics of this car, just dialed in. Yeah, but you know what makes it 100 times better? Is that rear sway bars that we just put on there and then the upper and upper uh, sway bars and the lower ones. Control nice. arm bushings and shit. Because otherwise before, it just had that little, that that little, little sway. sway to it. Yep. Um, so it's a super nice tight car now. Kick down the works as it should. This ain't grandma's little 70s Chevelle anymore. No, it's not. It's a neat car. Do yourself a favor and check this one out on our website, coyoteclassics.com. I'll put the link down in the uh, comment section of this video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and uh, we'll see you next time.